Weather-wise, chilly conditions overnight made for some slippery spots in parts of northeast Wisconsin. Plows were very busy this morning applying salt and sand so that traffic could keep flowing. But it was a different story on many area sidewalks. Fox 11's Eric Peterson now joins us from the weather deck outside. How is it out there, Eric? Well, good evening, Michelle. I uh, checked the temperature before I headed out here, and it was 28 degrees. Our severe weather expert, Patrick Powell, tells me we actually reached our high for the day, which was 35, and that was about midnight, leaving many of us waking up to a fresh coat of ice. Mike Godfredson says he walks three to four miles each day through his west side Green Bay neighborhood. Says he usually takes the sidewalk. Well, they're, they're a little slippery. That's why I'm out on the road or on the edge, because it's, it's safer mm -hmm. and I don't need to fall. Just down the road, Alex Ivy is chipping away at her sidewalk. Oh, uh, yeah, it's, it's kind of tough. I've been out here for a little bit now, and, um, but my shovel has metal on the bottom, so. It really helps scrape it up. <laughs> Fox 11 Director of Meteorology Pete Petoniak says temperatures fell since midnight. It was just a situation where the temperatures were above freezing overnight and then they fell uh, this morning and then just in time for the traffic and the morning commute. More than 16 Green Bay City plows used salt and sand to treat the streets. I had our trucks out on the arterials right away, you know, before the morning rush. Uh, and uh, after they took care of their arterials, we had to go into the residentials because the, the temperature starts, started dropping off, so we knew that the stuff was just going to melt away. Chris Pierlot reminds residents to shovel their sidewalks. Within 24 hours after a snow uh, event ends, you're supposed to have your sidewalks cleared out, and that's for the safety um, of uh, the pedestrians. Pedestrians like Mike Godfredson, he says he'll keep walking, even if it's on the road. I have to get outside. So, All right. I'm just I'm just a happier, healthy person when I do. And area sheriff's departments say they received reports of only minor crashes. That includes 10 here in Brown County. As far as Packer traffic, Captain Randy Schultz tells me before and after last night's Packer game, they received no major traffic reports. Michelle? All right, Eric, thank you.